Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, citizens all of the universe. This is another global transmission from Fun Squad Headquarters here at Fort Lyon in the beautiful and serene Los Animas, Colorado. Welcome. It is Friday, March 23rd, 2018. Um, it is supposed to be really windy today, and I'm outside, but I'm in kind of like a little um, bust up type plexiglass shelter thing so hopefully we won't get blown away and the microphone won't pick up too much wind so um it's been a couple days since my last uh, broadcast and i wanted to just go over a few quick little things um uh i was up early this morning um the sunrise in los Angeles was at 6 50 a.m and the sunset is scheduled for 7 8 p.m tonight i went yesterday uh wednesday i went and saw the kittens uh, they're so cute, and I uh, went and uh, took some pictures, and I got some video. And, well, I got some not of the kittens. I got some video of the cats. I was gonna wait till the kittens start moving around a little bit, and then I'll get some video um, uploaded for you folks. And they're so cute, and um, you know I get to hold them and stuff. And Mama's real, real uh, friendly with with me, so um, she didn't she didn't fuss too much. She kind of meowed at me a little bit. She's like, mm, "What are you doing? Get away from my babies!" But um, she she uh, she got over it right away. So, and I didn't hold them that long, so because I don't like to freak mom and cats out because I know they're very you know, protected. And that's great. Um, so we had the community meeting um, Wednesday. Uh, you know, we just um uh, went over some um basic stuff um. Random recovery thoughts, um, you know that we need, um, you know that we need relief, you know, and that's why we were you know, getting high and all this stuff is because we're looking for relief, and that made a lot of sense to me, um, and that's why we're here is because we're looking for relief, and that's why I'm still here because every day this place does give me relief. Um, you know, from my um, my inability to uh, live on life on life's terms, you know. Um, so, um, which is basically what my problem was uh, most of my life, you know. So, um, I'm really um, I'm really grateful to be here, you know, and uh, still and, and doing well. And um, I've learned like a really I've learned a lot just in the you know seventy some days I've been here. So I'm really uh, grateful for that, and I really like Jimmy. He's a really funny guy, and um, he's got some great jokes. I took some notes on it, um, thinking that that note would like give me the help me remember the details, but it hasn't. So I'm not going to state any of them because, um, you know, none of them uh, make any sense now, except for one. Um, I remember Jim telling us the story uh, before. So when they were getting the funding for this place uh, passed in the state legislature about four and a half, five years ago. It passed it, but one of the state, le well, all the state legislatures were asking, well, you know, we'll give you the money, but who is going to come all the way out before Fort Lyon, you know, to um, go to a retreat? Because it's basically a retreat. It's not like a rehab. It's not a clinical rehab. It's not certified or anything. So it's just sort of a retreat. It's a place to, you know, you know relax and gather your thoughts and go to AA meetings or something if you want to. And, um, and the answer is real simple. Because um, people are looking for relief. That's what we want. We want relief. So that made a lot of sense to me and that was great. Um, I was uh, able to see Dave yesterday, um, my sponsor, and we went fishing at Lake George. I mean, Lake George. Lake George, no. Lake Henry. And um, we did not catch one fish um, there were three of us expert fishermen there, and not one of us came came away with a fish. So we were scratching our heads, and finally we came to the conclusion there aren't any fish in Lake Henry. That's the only explanation. So it's got to be so, right? So um, we we originally went to a pond that uh, Dave and this other guy named Dave, Dave and Dave, that I went with, Dave and Dave and Steve. Um, uh, we went to, uh, but it turned out it was on private property and. Dave had been going there for years, and then when we pulled up and we're, we're like luring up and stuff, 
uh, we're tackling up, and um, this guy comes, and he's really mean and nasty. There's no signs anywhere. This is probably, probably this guy comes up, and he's like, "Well, what are you guys doing?" And we're like, "Well, we're going fishing. <laughs> what does it look like?" And wait, he said that. And Dave is real. I was really, you know, really proud of Dave. You know, uh, he handled it like a just, just a totally professional. And didn't bat an eyelash, didn't get mad. You know, I was feeling like cussing this guy out. But anyway, this guy was, at first he was all right. He's like, well, what are you guys doing? We're like, well, you know, we're going fishing. He's like, well, you just come into private, private, private property and go fishing. And we're like, well, we didn't see any signs. Get the F out of here. Ah. So we uh, we decided to, you know, obviously leave. And then on our way out, we were, um, we were greeted by his old lady, apparently. She was driving like 900 miles an hour. And um, so uh, she met us at the, road, the other road on the way in. And she's like, don't come back. So uh, so, um, so uh, um, we didn't go back. So now Dave is curious. He's going to go look at the county assessor's office because um, or a sayer or whatever you call it. But, um, um, because he's, that's the way Dave is, and he wants to know for sure. So, because like I said, we didn't see any signs, and I don't know how these people, you know, uh, expect this to be their minds. The Dave, according to the map, the Dave looked at it was it's a city pond. So um, we need to find out for sure before we try to go back in there. So and it's you know his property, it's his property. But um, sometimes people do funny stuff. So you just never know. So we're gonna check anyway. Um, so I did that yesterday, and then we had an NA meeting at Dave's house, which I didn't know he has those Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Um, and Dave and I are talking about maybe coming to get the truck early, because um, he might drive me to Denver so I can get my truck. And that would be very fine with me. That would be great. Um, that way it would be here. We wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. So that would be damn flipping tastic. I could do that. So maybe I'll do that April and then the truck will be here. I won't have to worry about it anymore. Um, and other than that, I can't uh, really think of too much to tell you. I did put some pictures of the kittens and stuff on Facebook. Um, as you know, Fridays are a really busy day for me. I like Fridays. You know, I got the community meeting and then we got the dual recovery. And then I got rehab prevention. And then I got lunch. Ooh, we got cheeseburgers today. I think she's written all the sloppy jokes today. So, anyway, um, we'll have sloppy jokes. And then, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do the rest of the day. I don't think I'm going to go to town. I am out of cigarette tubes. To, I'm really trying to cut down on my cigarette consumption, so not having any tubes will, will do wonders for that. I won't be able to smoke. So, I'm not sure... This is a conscious choice or just the way it happened, but I guess I've quit smoking, so um, I have about three or four cigarettes left. So we'll see how tomorrow and the next day go if I need to uh, make an emergency trip into Los Animas on my bicycle tomorrow to go get a cigarette tube. So wish me luck on that um, and give me a prayer for that because I do want to quit uh, smoking badly and I really want to get that done like right away. Uh, the sooner the better. And that way, I'd like to. Uh, one of my goal is to be quit by um, quit by my birthday, which is May fifteenth. Uh, by the way, so if anybody um, you know is interested, I like cash. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, don't send me anything. I don't need anything. I have all of my needs provided for me here, and so uh, it's great. And I love it. So I just wanted to share that with you all this morning. So I will talk to you sometime this weekend. Probably going to take a bike, tri bike trip somewhere. I don't know where yet. Maybe back to the reservoir. Maybe we can get in there once and for all. If it's not windy like 900 miles an hour like it always is on weekends around here. So I love you all. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time, thoughts, and prayers. Okay? Bye.